for a creamer today. I'm doing something different. I feel like I haven't shown nut pods in a while. So I like to add this oat creamer cinnamon swirl to my cold brew coffee. And then I do a splash of oat milk. This creamer is really great because it's only, let's see, one tablespoon is 10 calories. This honestly is like the best one. They also have a marshmallow one that's really good, but this one's my favorite. And then I'm going to add just a splash of oat milk. What are you doing over there? What are you looking for, Brooks? And a little bit of sweetener. Which is like a zero calorie sweetener. Mix it all up. There's my coffee. Super easy. Good morning, guys. I have my coffee here that you just saw me made. So we're going to drink some coffee. And I got a package in. I just want to open. I can't wait. So I decided to open it with you guys. Can you tell where it's from just by looking at this? <laughs> Let me know if you could. Bath and Butter Works, baby. Mmm. Oh, someone got me all sloppery. You got a lot of favorites over here. Yeah, I know. Okay, so they had a really good sale. It was buy two candles, get two free. Buy like certain amount of soaps, get something free. <laughs> I got Joey this soap. It's Ocean for Men. I want to smell it. He's about to t literally take a shower. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. This is what it looks like, the label. Okay. But tell me how you like it. I'll try it out. <laughs> um, and then I got two um, hand soaps, Cabana Escape and Strawberry Pound Cake. Pound Cake. <laughs> the foam ones. One for the bathroom, and then actually they're both for the bathroom. I'm gonna do the strawberry first, I think, and then save the other one. And I got this White Barn Pelo Santo Room Spray. So, we'll spray that in the room. I literally can't smell it. But I'm, oh wait, there it is, there it is. Oh, that smells nice. It smells like a little men cologne. -y. A little, a little fall. Hmm, I thought it would be more like a summer spring, but more like a fall smell, but that's okay. We're still gonna keep it. Cause you stink. <laughs> and then for the candles, I got a variety of candles. Oh, sorry, Brooks, just knocked you in the head. Okay, the first one is Cactus Blossom but it looks like a really pretty pink case. Oh, that smells so floral and more subtle. Like it's a, it's like a more subtle flower smell. It smells really good. So like a mild flower floral smell. Those are the same things, but you know what I mean. And then I'm so scared. I'm going to break a nail opening these. <laughs> I got the eucalyptus mint, which is, I'm sure, gonna smell just like what it says. Mm, definitely more eucalyptus. It smells kind of soapy, like a smoke, uh, soapy eucalyptus soap. <laughs> I don't really smell the mint too much, but still smells really good. Really like that green color. And then I got sun drenched linen. I feel like I got all from the same white barn because I like the way they look the best. Ooh, that just smells like laundry. That smells so good. That smells really nice. I like this one, sun drenched linen. Okay, this is different, I think. This is island papaya made with natural essential oils, also by white barn. Ooh, that is fruit tea. That actually smells really good though. Very fruity. This would be perfect for summertime. I really like this one. I really like the way it looks too. I think that's like a subtle, pretty design. So I think that's everything. Yeah, that is everything. So I got the four candles and the soaps, Joey soap and a room spray. And I think I spent like $80, which is actually really good for Bath and Body Works. And I loaded up on stuff. 
because I, I feel like I don't go through candles a lot. Like I'm actually pretty good at like keeping them nice and keeping them for a while. Probably because we live in an RV, so it's just a small space. So <laughs> it like smells like instantly when you like light a candle or spray anything. That is that. I'm gonna go put this all away and then we'll make breakfast real quick before we go out. Me and Joey have an errand to go do. Um, I'll talk, tell you guys about that. But this is gonna be, oh, I gotta get off my feet. Um, this is gonna be a what I eat in a day. I am so excited to share some yummy recipes with you guys, especially lunch and dinner. I'm gonna be making like air fried shrimp, which I've never tried before and I'm really excited. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna make my sauce again. I shared already this sauce in a different video. I think it's already been up, but it's that shoyu Kona Grill sauce, Kona Grill sauce. And we made a small batch and it was so delicious for our chicken and protein and um, veggies. So I'm gonna make another big batch of that later. And yeah, just take you guys along with what I eat today and this little what I eat in a day that I hope you guys enjoy. I'm tracking everything today and the healthy app, I track my calories there. I have a discount code, $5 off if you wanna use it for your yearly subscription. I'll leave it linked below for you guys if you're interested and I'll let you guys know the calories throughout the day because um, I haven't done that in a while. So I'll do that. You like that one? Brooks is smelling the candles. He's smelling the candles. All right, I'm like sitting on my knees and I feel old because they hurt now. I got this new pan from Aldi and I'm obsessed. It's so cool. It's like this little grill pan. I'm gonna cook some eggs up on it real quick. And I'm gonna make like a little bowl. A really, like probably a to-go bowl because I feel like I'm gonna have to eat this in the car because we are we have some errands to run really quick. So I'm gonna heat up some little tiny potatoes like these little ones. Cook an egg. Probably scramble. this little glass to go container I have 112 grams of these little baby potatoes that I just microwaved because like I mentioned we're in a rush Let me put that up. I have some cheese we're gonna do directly on the potatoes some cheese. so they melt I'm just doing it real simple and I'm doing these bacon, bacon bits. This is real bacon. See how it looks so good. I'm gonna add some bacon in there. I'm just gonna do one tablespoon. I think that works. I'm gonna do one tablespoon of cottage cheese. That was a big tablespoon. <laughs> and then last, our one egg. pepper put the lid on that is breakfast to go baby that took probably five minutes just mix it all together this is breakfast on the go it's actually really really freaking good I really like it so have my breakfast on the go, have my coffee on the go. We have a nail in our tire, so we have to go get that patched. And then when we get home, probably by the time we get home, I'll be ready for lunch. We might go on a walk with the dogs and then I'll probably make lunch. I forgot to tell you. The calories so far for coffee and breakfast is 302 calories for the day. Coffee itself was only 36 calories so the breakfast was the remainder from that so 302 calories to start the day off I'll let you guys know the calories throughout the day so hopefully that's helpful Fancy. We 
are on our way home now, three hours later, um, driving on a freaking spare. On a donut. My pants are unbuttoned because I just want to be comfy. I'm, I don't know why I'm so tired, but like being at the car dealership for three hours, just like, you're just like sitting, sitting there. In the waiting room. Now like, I feel like I, I could take a nap, but I know I well, should. It's like really quiet in there. So yeah. Like, so now maybe I'm sleepy. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna go home, and I think the first thing we should do when we go home is walk the dog, so I get like my energy back out. What the heck? You should be up. there. So what happened was we went to the Lincoln dealership thinking that we were just getting a patch because Joey saw the nail. We yeah, did end I up. Got a, I got a low tire pressure indicator when I got into the car after work today but all the tires looked fine they all had some air in them mm -hmm. they didn't look low at all so I drove up to the gas station checked the pressure and the driver rear was like low it was like 26 pounds so I was like okay well I looked around and I saw a nail sticking out of the tire so okay well that that's why it's low mm -hmm. and so I'm like okay well at least it's in the middle we can get it patched so that's why we went up there and then what we find out that there's a nail in the passenger rear and that one cannot be patched and we had to buy a whole new tire even though this car has not even been with us for even a month yet yeah, it's like right out it, a month the tires on it were the tires practically were new. brand new they looked great well i'm pretty tired and hungry so after our walk I'm going to show you guys my lunch. Um, I had a cup of coffee while I was there. Um, I'm feeling pretty okay, so when I get home, we'll walk the dogs, and then I'm gonna air fry some shrimp and make a little lunch, and I'll show you guys that once we get home. I really hope I get, after the walk, I hope that my energy picks back up. Yeah. Cause like, I feel like I could take a nap. I'm really trying not to do that. <laughs> yeah, I could go for a long nap right about now. I changed into a comfy outfit. I'm gonna chug this water. I'm feeling a little sleepy. Um, it's just like a long weird day, but I love sometimes when that happens, so I think it's good to film those days where things aren't perfectly planned out and your your meals aren't perfectly planned. While we were out, I didn't even eat anything. I just had a coffee. They had snacks, but I actually didn't really want them. They were like Oreo and Cheez-Its and things like that. And I was like, eh. So I didn't even eat any of that. Um, I should have brought like a bar with me, but I didn't. But I drank two of these already. This is my third one and I had a big cup of coffee. Not a meal, but I'm just saying my stomach was like full of liquid. <laughs> so that just means I'm gonna have a bigger lunch. I change into this comfy shirt. This is my Project Reboot shirt. How cute is this long sleeve? I have short sleeve ones too, but I just love the shirt, it's so comfy. So I am going to go without my shrimp and get, I honestly don't know what I'm gonna have with it, but we're gonna figure that out. I gotta get it defrosted though real quick. Okay. Here's the shrimp. I'm gonna season it up. Salt, pepper. Paprika. And garlic powder. I like to wrap mine in aluminum foil. I just feel like it cooks better and it's it doesn't get the bottom all gross. So it's an easier cleanup. This uh, shrimp. And then we're going to air fry it on 350 for 12 minutes, turning them halfway through. Just making sure they both get cooked and crispy. So 350 for 14 minutes for the shrimp. Okay, for the Brussels sprouts, I wanna do this pretty quick and simple. So I have some water in this bowl. I did wash that bowl out and then I added some water. And I wanna get the Brussels sprouts cooked before I add them into the air fryer after the shrimp's done. So I'm cutting the Brussels sprouts up in half 
and then I'm going to place it into that big bowl of water and we're gonna mic them because I feel like that'll soften them up nicely almost like we're boiling them but we're doing it easier and quicker in the microwave I really don't feel like dirtying up another pot because I already have some sauce cooking in a different pot so I'm only making enough Brussels sprouts for me because Joey's not having any and I don't really want to make multiple Brussels sprouts because they're not really great leftover. I feel like they turn out way better when you cook them like fresh like right away and then eat them compared to when they're leftover. So I'm going to make this on for like five minutes. And some Parmesan cheese, a block of Parmesan. Alright, 12 grams. Let's see what 12 grams will look like. And this cheese is just for the Brussels sprout, so I didn't have to do too much because it's just for one person. I feel like 12 grams will be plenty of cheese, and I love grating cheese because I feel like you get so much more. Sorry if you can hear the air fryer in the back. There's the cheese. Okay, I just made my batch of the Kona Grill secret sauce, a big old batch. So I made it once before in the previous video, if you guys saw that video. Mm. We were testing it out and I made a small batch and it was perfect, it tastes so much like it. Um, not the like exact, it, like it tasted a little bit different but pretty close enough. Um, so I just made another big batch. I did add to this batch, I add garlic powder, paprika and pepper so I did add a little bit of that and I feel like it definitely helped the flavor so you can that's optional but I'll leave the recipe down below for you guys and then my Brussels sprouts are done the five minutes is up let's see so sketchy getting this out oh those look pretty good I think I'm just gonna leave those out okay see how they look a little bit more cooked and soft I feel like that's perfect before going into the air fryer for the Brussels sprouts, spraying with a little bit of olive oil. Salt, pepper. Give that a little toss. And then add the Parmesan cheese. And then we're gonna air fry these for about mm, 10 minutes. Probably on like, probably on 350. So it's already prepped, just needs to go in the air fryer. This is gonna be a good lunch. I'm excited. Does look good? I have the meal ready. I have four ounces of Brussels sprouts with the Parmesan. Look how good they look. Oh my goodness. And then I have the shrimp. I forget how many ounces, but I already tracked it, so I'll let you know in a second. <laughs> I totally forget. I don't remember. Um, and then this is the Kona sauce. It made so much. I made a really big batch, and surprisingly, I just added it all up in the recipe builder. I'll show you guys that but it made 24 servings and two tablespoons is a serving. So two tablespoons is a serving, which I think is plenty as you can see. Joey might disagree. He might want like five of these things cause it's so good. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That is the best sauce ever. Oh my gosh. Seriously, it's so good. Okay. And this is lunch, baby. This looks absolutely stunning and amazing and I cannot wait to eat this like I just I just can't believe I can eat this like it's just so good there comes a time when you're on a weight loss journey when you make a meal and you're just like I can eat this I can eat this this is so good and it's like healthy and it's just oh it's the best feeling this is one of those recipes this is my current new favorite meal it's just 12 out of 10 so definitely give it a go Let's try our Parmesan. Oh, I need to take a thumbnail. All right, let's give it a go. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna try to eat slow because even though I'm like really hungry, I need to just eat slow. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Microwaving the Brussels sprouts and pre-cooking them was genius. 
someone left me a comment to boil them so thank you for that because it did turn out amazing and it tastes a lot like the Kona grilled Brussels sprouts they did Parmesan Brussels sprouts which is why I wanted to do it and they cut theirs in halves and I'm assuming they probably did that to boil them too prior to cooking them it's so yummy wow mmm I could eat those every day honestly I'm so glad I didn't go out to eat and get food while I was out because I almost did because we were there for so long but I was like no I'm gonna go home and make my own food and this is better than anything I can get at a restaurant please make that if you guys couldn't follow like step by step through the video um, sometimes it's like hard to kind of explain details how to make things I always leave it down below in the description box there's a little little arrow over here if you hit that that's where the description box is check that because I'll leave the recipe and how I made this exactly to the T down below so you can make it at home please do because this is seriously so good and it's protein veggies and a little bit of sauce mmm Oh my gosh this whole meal was 210 calories 76 grams for the shrimp 75 calories 12 grams of parmesan cheese 50 calories four ounces of brussels sprouts 45 calories and one serving of the shoyu sauce 40 calories <laughs> it's dinner time and i have some rice cooking i decided to kind of make like a stir fry situation because i have lots of leftovers from the other day when i meal prepped so let me show you guys what i got we have some cauliflower rice with veggies but i was like cauliflower rice is not going to cut it and i have a lot of calories left for the day and i'm hungry so i made some rice to go with this um cauliflower rice and vegetables i have leftover chicken and then i have that delicious sauce and i also have some kimchi that i think will go really with it so i'm making the rice and i'm gonna have a big portion of rice carb up and then for dessert, I already know what I'm going to have, which I'm actually really excited. It's pretty simple. It's like a very simple dessert. It's nothing fancy, but it's it's top notch. It's so good. It might look weird when I show you, but trust me, it's delicious. Let's get the rice going. While I'm doing the rice, I'm watching Freaky Friday. I just felt like kind of watching something from my childhood and like nostalgic and cozy. So I'm watching Freaky Friday and making dinner and this is why i love meal prepping because all i have to do is make the rice and then heat up the food and boom dinner's done and it's just so nice i don't have to cook the veggies cook the chicken cook the rice make the sauce and it's just a lot it's just like overwhelming so that's why i love meal prepping and i always recommend meal prepping i have a whole playlist on my channel if you guys want to go back and watch some old meal preps i also have a website with lots of recipes and instagram of course i always share all my food there so make sure to check the description box just so you guys have other places to go besides just the youtube I do share a lot of recipes i really do like all my what i eat in a days have recipes in them so if you just go back and watch even what I eat in a day so you'll get recipe ideas um, for meal prep and things like that so your girl can't wait for dinner she needs to eat something so I have this French onion dip I got from Aldi I'm going to I don't know why I'm laughing I'm laughing because it's just I'm so hungry two tablespoons for 60 calories we're gonna track that I got a carrot I really gotta track this damn carrot. Alright, got my carrot. Um, I'm gonna have two tablespoons of this. So, what I do is I just take a tablespoon. There you go. And I just eat it like this so I don't have to dirty a dish, and it's like the exact amount that I wanna have. That's it. So, I'm gonna have some of that. Snack on this carrot while my rice cooks. Oh. I'm 
This dip is actually really good. I got it from Aldi and it's super yummy. Having it with this kimchi. Pretty good. Here's dinner. We have white rice. We have the veggies and chicken with the sauce and a side of kimchi. The dogs smell the food. They always do this. They always jump down when they smell the food. Pretty snack for them. Here's dinner. I'm gonna finish watching my movie, eat my dinner. I also have some water. I'm obsessed. You guys probably see this all the time and think it's beer, but it's definitely not. It's liquid death. It's liquid death water, and I'm just I'm just obsessed with it. It's just so good. I love like good water. It's like a good mountain water. Um, so I'm drinking my water, having my big old bowl of dinner. This thing has some weight to it, and yeah. I'll leave the calories for you guys. Once I track it, I'll let you guys know, but I gotta eat first. So I just ate dinner and I just posted a video. It's 9.50. The video took forever to get up. You guys hopefully would have seen it, but if not, um, I'll leave it at the end screen and also down in the link below. It's a really good video. It's really vulnerable. Like, it's a great pep talk. I needed to hear from myself and I knew like someone else needed to hear it. And it's just about like not giving up when you hit that moment where whether you've gained weight, whether you've just stayed the same for a long time and you just feel like, okay, like it's time to give up, it's not working and you feel just down on yourself, this is the video you need to listen to. So I hope you guys watch it. But I need to come on here and let you guys know the calories for dinner, which was so good. I scarfed it down. I scarfed it down. I ain't gonna lie. I scarfed that dinner down because I was just so hungry. Um, today was just such a weird day. Like it, I expected to go get the tire patch 30, 40 minutes out the door, come home, and everything was going to be fine and dandy. I did not expect a whole 200 and $80 tab later and three hours wait later. It just like completely threw us off a little bit But I mean, it's not a big deal. It's you know life, but um, It was just a little different day than what I planned And then of all things I also started today, which was just lovely. So we'll see how tomorrow goes um, dinner My battery died. Okay Try it again. 486 calories for dinner. I did have one cup of rice, that's 205. Vegetables was 82. The chicken, three ounces, 139. The sauce, 40. And kimchi, 20. And then the snack, I don't know if we ever went over that, but I ended up having uh, a little more than one serving of that sauce. So the sauce was 90 calories for two tablespoons and a half. And then the carrot was 26 calories. So not too shabby um don't come at me that i didn't eat enough today because i know like today was just a little bleh. um so i do have quite a bit of calories left i'm gonna have dessert and that's gonna help i'm gonna have i'm gonna have a hefty dessert um because i have the calories for it and again not every day is like this like if every day was like this you guys would probably see a bigger significant weight loss you'd see me losing quite a bit more weight um some days I have really bad days where I, you know, I'm binge eating or I'm not tracking or I'm just overeating in general. So I just want you guys to know, like, not everything you see, you know, is exactly how it is every single day. Um, so, yeah. And usually when I'm filming, I'm, like, really motivated and I'm, like, let's show them what I'm doing today and I'm really busy. So it's actually funny on filming days, like, my work days, filming days, I actually eat quite a bit less than I do when I'm not filming because I'm busy. You know, I like to film and then I go straight to the computer and start editing. I'll do multiple videos in one day. I'm just, like, busy, busy, busy. So I'm just not focused on food compared to when I'm not working and I'm just like at the house either chilling or just like doing whatever throughout the day um yeah I tend to eat more if that makes sense just want to be like honest and transparent about that um with you guys I'm already opening my fridge looking for dessert and I'm not hungry and I don't need to eat dessert yet because I'm not even hungry so I'm gonna watch more of my movie and then we'll make dessert <laughs> later when I actually am like hungry for dessert 
<laughs> I can't believe I just did that. That's funny. Okay, for this epic dessert, it's just so good, you guys. You've got to try it. I'm taking one large banana. Mash it with a fork. Go ahead and heat it up for 20 seconds. Now that it's out of the microwave, it's a lot easier to mash. So go ahead and mash it up. I leave a few chunks just because I don't like it too, too blended. So leave a little bit of chunks to it. I think is the best way, but you could totally mash it up completely if you want. Okay, should look like this. <laughs> Not the prettiest. We're gonna take chocolate pudding mix. I'm gonna add, I'm doing half of a tablespoon. I don't have a half a tablespoon. I don't know where the heck it's at. It's not on this thing. So I'm just doing, measuring it with one tablespoon, but half of it. Cause I feel like one tablespoon is just like a little too much. And then mix it up. We're gonna add caramel. Smucker's Sunday syrup. Oh my gosh. I have my scale, so I'm measuring it. I'm adding my first layer. So just do like a little layer and then heat it up for like 10 seconds. Okay. Like I said, this, this really isn't anything special. <laughs> um, but it's just so good. I'm taking True Whip. I have one third cup. Okay. Add that. Like right in the center. Like that. I think I'm going to add more Cool Whip. And a little bit more. Voila, it's done. Look at that. It literally looks like I'm eating like a banana pudding or something. Or like a cake or I don't know. It's so good. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it, but it's amazing. Look at that. Try it out. If you like banana, you'll love it. Mm -hmm.